Hi. Today is the best day ever. We finally get to watch a TV. Let's see. Look at the TV screen. We finally get to watch some TV together, dear viewer. Let's log it in. What? Not working. What? What is not? <coughs> Always turn off appliances before you start tinkering with them, and don't take extension cords because they'll kick back. Anyway, the TV is broken. I can especially mention the Misabella for donating this TV as well. Now, the first step in nearly all electronics assemblies is to discharge the high voltage capacitors that there may be in the appliance. And seeing as I haven't used this TV over, seeing as the TV hasn't been used in over a year, this means the TV. Ow! Okay, so I just used it just now. Note to self: always remember and, dis and properly discharge high voltage capacitors. Okay, so the high voltage capacitors in the TV are, safe, are discharged using myself as the load. We can finally get it assembling and messing around with the guts of the television. Let's do that. So now first, we have to take out the aerial. Over here, as you can see, if I can just zoom in closer, there is a screw which holds the aerial in place. So we got a screwdriver over here, and we loosen the aerial, and the screw holds the aerial. The aerial should come off. Let's do that. In terms of, un of attempting to unscrew the aerial out, I can't because I broke the screw. <laughs> okay, so apparently I need to unscrew these to get the TV out. Let's do that. <laughs> Please wait for a brief intermission. And then there's also this screw here. You have to unscrew. I don't know why these people hide it like that. And anyway, let's get unscrewing. Three days later. Unscrew that screw in there. Here we witness the great, I don't know. Drum roll, please. I said the drum roll. Dun 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 There's a CRT, a huge one too, a circuit board, a huge speaker, a huge transformer and Yay! Anyway, let's get dismantling the rest. Anyway, after taking that out, we have some screws and some more circuit boards. And there is a screw to hold the transformer, a speaker, and the power supply, and the stuff, and the, and the oh precious CRT itself. So let's get unscrewing them. We'll try by taking out the transformer. Let's do that. And here we have its Majesty the Transformer. Great. Now let's get on to the rest of the circuitry, which is over here, and then we'll deal with that part finally, at last. Anyway, for this part, we have to, there are two to hold the CRT and a circuit board, so let's unscrew those. There are some over here and here, let's do that. Screwing that, the metal part comes loose, the one that holds the CRT, and the CRT comes out. And now I have to unscrew the PCB. But first and foremost, of course, I take out the metal. 
colder, however, I'm going to intend on doing that. Now, we have to unscrew the PCB before we're going to do that, before we do that. So let's do that. <laughs> So now after taking this part off, and I will find some glass cover and plastic, uh, glass cover and plastic cover for the CRT, so we so can dispose of that. Now, here we are left with the important and juicy parts: the antenna, the CRT, the tr transformer, and the controller board and the antenna board. So now after out this antenna board and speaker, and there are screws which hold them in place, and also some glue. It's not gonna be easy. Let's do that. Let's unscrew the lot. Two thousand years later. Out. I finally did. And the only thing left to take out the speaker. Which probably isn't going to be the easiest thing. So apparently you have to use brute force and a pivot. You have to get a uh, a flathead screwdriver, as you are seeing now. One of these things rusted so much. Seeing, here, plus head screwdriver, I have to use it as a, as a pivot, as a wedge, to break the glue and get the speaker out and hopefully not break anything else, because that can be a very powerful speaker, so let's get breaking the speaker out, let's do that. After throwing that in the bin, throwing this useless piece of plastic, we can finally get our aerial out, which is the oops, lazy, which is the last piece of the rig of this very useful TV. And this is our salvage. This is what we got so far out of this TV. We got the CRT, this circuit board, the transformer, the power supply, and this. The transformer, which gives out a voltage to the full bridge at the fire, which then goes to the circuit, to the motherboard, which controls everything, and also probably also gives the high voltage to the CRT in the range of a few, about 8 kilovolts, as it says in the label. And it, and CRT is an electron gun which shoots, sets, and produces and projects the light on the image as the TV, and the speaker is controlled by the circuit, and the aerial. This is also the aerial controller because it receives aerial signals and this is from the aerial and control and it's controlled by the motherboard. And also have some pretty big and decent capacitors too. Good for destruction. Great. And now this is a very, 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 very useful TV. And I got lots of components from it. And maybe we can do an experiment with them one day. Bye and thank you for watching.